Cool. Okay. So what we'll do, I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, what we'll do is just a, a visual parts. So there's the two types of the visual and the verbal. So this will just be the visual. Um, so we don't even need to know what it is that Jenny wants to work on. But have you got something you want to work on? Yes. <laughs> have you really? Yes. Now there's a thing. Okay. <laughs> um, now for the... <laughs> I will edit that bit. <laughs> leave that bit out. <laughs> so, um, for the purposes of the video, I'll, I'll do a bit more formal induction um, rather than the, the snap induction. Just for the purposes of the video. Because you're probably quite fed up with me doing a snap induction, aren't you? You just get used to it, just sleep, just go D, 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 D. When you keep doing snap inductions with people, you need to keep finding different ways to surprise them. Um, D, 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 D. D, 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 D. D, D, More calm. just from it. You probably can't see from there but Jenny's eyes are getting nice and, uh, and uh, pink underneath. You might be able to see the eyes just beginning to, to flicker a little bit and just, just really really calm the sides. And breathing slow right the way down. And open your eyes. Deeper, deeper, deeper. And again a little bit of a struggle opening up the eyes just to start off with. Because I've worked with Jenny lots of times, you know, in the, the classroom setting and everything, she's used to you're used to this whole process. So what I'd like to do, Jenny, is put my hand on your shoulder again and just let yourself drift. Deeper, 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 deeper. And there is somewhere deeper than where you are now, somewhere calmer, somewhere quieter, somewhere more peaceful, just somewhere deeper within yourself. I wonder if you can sense where that other calmer, quieter, deeper place might be. I mean, you can sense where that place is. Just take yourself there and nod your head when you're there. Now there's somewhere even deeper, even calmer, even quieter, even more peaceful. When you can sense where that place may be. Again, just gently nod your head just to let me know. Yeah, that's good. You take yourself there. Nod your head when you're there. Now there's a place that's so calm, so quiet, so peaceful. You know, some people, they'll call it their perfect place. It's a place where you can feel more at peace with yourself, where you can feel more at peace with the world. And I'm going to help you find that place. And the way I'd like to help you find that place, I'm going to start counting from five all the way down to zero. With every number I count, you'll allow yourself to drift deeper and deeper. Just beginning with five, just deeper and deeper. could imagine standing on those steps overlooking the lawns those beautiful beautiful gardens you know your way down to the bottom just take yourself there with every step you take you allow yourself to become more calm more relaxed and when you're in that garden only when not before just nod your head to that now you could imagine what it would be like to be walking along a path in this perfect garden, the trees, bushes, shrubs, wildlife, whatever you'd expect in your perfect garden. And then you reach that familiar fork in the path. On the one path you've got that version of yourself how you don't want to be, and the other path you've got that version of yourself how you do want to be. And at the junction of that path, or that fork in the path where once there was a mirror, what if you could imagine a beautiful door and you've got that door there in your mind's eye, just nod your head to let me know. 
Did it open or closed? Tell me. Closed. Closed. Okay. So open the door. I wonder if you could walk through. And on the other side, there's loads and loads of different versions of yourself. There's Jenny the mother, there's Jenny the friend, there's Jenny the therapist, Jenny the wife, Jenny the daughter. There's so many different Jennies. There's the happy, generous Jenny. And there's also that Jenny from the path of error. And there's also the Jenny from the path of excellence. What I'd like to do, I'd like to announce to each and every person in that room what it is that you'd like to do. And when you're done, just let me know. Okay. Now, I should imagine most of those characters are on board with that, but there might be one or two, maybe more, I don't know, but there might be one or two that are not quite so sure. And we've got a few doubts or worries. If that is the case, just nod your head to them. Right, okay. So what I'd like to do is take them over to one side and bring the new you. Bring that Jenny from that path of excellence along as well. Now, if there's more than two of those doubting characters, those doubting parts, perhaps you could choose a spokesperson. And I'd like you to get that part to explain to the new you what their worries, what their concerns are. And then I'd like to get the new you to respond, to give all the answers, because that new you has got all the answers. Just run that conversation through, forwards and backwards, backwards and forwards, just run it through until it's completed to your satisfaction. And when it's completed to your satisfaction, only when, not before, just nod your head to let me know. I wonder if you can bring these parts back into that room with all those other parts of your personality, all those other parts of your psyche. I wonder if you could announce again to the entire room what it is that you'd like to do. And if they're all on board, you can nod your head, if not, shake your head. Okay, so again, any of those doubting parts, take them over to one side, bring the new you and the new Jenny along, and again, run through that conversation forwards and backwards and backwards and forwards, because the new Jenny has got the answers. Just run that conversation through, and when it's completed to your satisfaction, but not before, just move your head just to let me know. Again, bring all those characters back, bring those parts back into that room. And again, announce to everybody what it is that you want to do. And if everybody's on board, you can nod your head if not shake your head. Okay. Now the thing 
is as one of those characters there hasn't said anything yet neither positive nor negative it's like a strong silent type very influential I wonder if you can seek that character out when you found that character just nod your head to them you know okay I wonder if you can sit with that part of you I wonder if you can announce what it is that you want to do and if she's on board with you that person that part is on board with you just nod your head if they've got doubts you can shake your head prepared to help to oversee this entire operation to encourage the others excellent I wonder if you can meld all these people into one into the new you into that new Jenny when you're done but not before nod your head to them Step into that character, Jenny. Feel how it feels. Feel how alive it feels. Feel how amazing it feels. Does it feel good? Excellent. Squeeze your finger and thumb together. Lock that feeling inside. So good, so positive, so full of life, so full of energy. And I wonder if you could imagine yourself at some point in the future doing this thing, whatever it might be that you want to do. Just see yourself some point in the future. Just doing this thing. Feel how it feels. Am I good? That's right, step into that woman. So good, so positive, so full of life, so full of energy, because you are in charge of your life and you are in control of your life. And you can do all those things you put your mind to. You're at peace with yourself, you're at peace with the world. It's almost as though there's something deep, deep inside of you clenched so tight, just easing, relaxing, breathing. Your mind, your body, breathing a sigh of relief. At peace with yourself peace with the world and again step into that new view just hold on to that feeling you can keep that feeling with you long long after you've left here whether you're at home whether you're at work whether you're indoors whether you're outdoors wherever you may be but peace with yourself peace with the world is there anything more we need to do now yes or no moment I'm going to count from one to five when I reach number five I'll snap my fingers you open up your eyes you return to your fully conscious waking state more calm more relaxed more positive more motivated more empowered one more and more aware two just breathing in fresh clean mountain air three just washing eyes nose throat face and mouth cool clean clear spring water four and Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, well, look then. <laughs> How's that feel? Yeah, good. <laughs> good. Good. Very cool. vivid. Very Always. vivid. I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, we didn't even know what the thing was. Um, I don't know. Was there emotion there at some point? Yeah, a little bit, but not too bad. Yeah. Really yeah. Bad. And um, because I, the reason I'm asking is I could sense a little bit of emotion. I saw a little bit of you know, in, in your face just saw a little bit. I don't know if anybody else would have seen it. Um, maybe not, but you know, it was quite close. Um, so if you do get that, always check, is there anything else that we need to do? Are we done now? Is there anything else we need to do just before you bring the session out? Okay. Cool, thank you. Thanks. Any, any thoughts, any comments, any... God, that's so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a really brilliant technique that's probably very effective. It is very effective, yeah, it is very effective. It's not as effective as, as the verbal, because with the verbal parts you can mediate and you can, you, you know, you, you, can, you, you can get more involved and find out what it is. You know, you might be able to, to, to guide but not lead. 
um, certain things. But I am the foggiest what it was all about. Um, and it's none of my business. So would you give the person the choice of doing a verbal or a verbal Generally, I would do this as a... Um, if, I, if I'm absolutely sure that they're going to really struggle with the, with, with the verbal, then I would do this. I would quite often do this as a lead-in to the verbal. And then afterwards turn around and say, well, look, actually we can do very similar to this, but we, we can get you talking. Because if Jenny was a new client, then saying whether the door was open or closed would be the first time she'd have spoken in hypnosis. And, and also, having doors open and closed is quite symbolic of the, of the subconscious mind being open and closed. And, Cool. Thank you. Let's just hope it's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's pictures and things.